Phil Coutinho's getting close to his best, you know, two, two assists, his finish was superb. And Ramsey just keeps getting better and better and stronger and stronger each game. So I'm really pleased with a lot of what I've seen tonight. But as a manager, you've also got to uh, try and learn from this. Um, it was a great experience being alongside Bielsa. You know, he scored three goals against us, so we need to learn as a group from that. Does it say much for the bravery and character of your players, the way they came back in that second half? Well, no. Fue un difícil, pero el, el gol al final del primer tiempo fue un estímulo, nos acercó. It was difficult, but the goal at the end of the first half was a stimulus. It brought us closer, and in the second half, slowly we started to deserve the, the draw. Coutinho is a, a top, top, top player. Um, like I said before, um, I think every game that we play together, especially he's playing on my side, on the left hand side, so the connections are always going to be there. So hopefully, each game it gets better. Well, he was excellent tonight. He mentioned Coutinho. Gerard mentioned Coutinho and Ramsey. Um, and you don't want to ever leave a, a, a <laughs> centre forward out of it. So you're going to throw you're going to throw the, the Villa front man yeah, as well I've, to praise. I've got to throw in Watkins as well. The three of them, they were just they were they were very in sync with each other. They all seemed to find the right places when the other one wasn't there. Coutinho's first touch, his first touch sets it up beautifully. Opens up the goal and then reverses it into the far corner, knowing the keeper's going to his left. That there, there was a lovely little bit of hold-up play there from Watkins, but he doesn't stand. He doesn't stand and watch, lays it off, he's patient, finding himself that little step there from Coutinho. Watch Watkins here, stays out the way, leaves the space for Ramsey to come in, which is what they do very, very well. They know where the other is. Ramsey's there, just coming over the uh, halfway line. Watkins is wanting the ball, but knowing full well, he's pulling those Leeds defenders out of the way for that simple bit of play there. And that is a very, very accomplished finish. Runs quickly, calms down in front of goal and just steers it in the corner. How old is he again? Does, uh, how old is he does, again? Does, does, that, does it surprise you that they have linked up as well as they have so early in, in their run as a, as a three there? I think what's happened is I think Ramsey and Watkins are allowing Coutinho to go where he wants to go and they will make their runs off of where he is, just through his experience in his class. And they're enjoying making the runs and receiving the ball from a player like him. Uh, as far as Leeds are concerned, Dan James went through the middle for them today. Um, his goal scoring sometimes has, has been criticised or not taking his chances. He did take them today. Yeah, he scored, what, two before today game. He got another two today and I thought his whole round game was outstanding. Like you mentioned, he's he's played in a, in a central role. You see him coming into your uh, picture here. But we, we've talked a lot about Dan James and, you know, it's a wonderful finish there. But at Man United, he used to get into some very good positions and fluff his lines a little bit. But I've seen a, a measured and more composed approach his runs in behind going out to it as a defender it's an absolute nightmare and when he gets into the areas like this because he's used to playing on the wing he you know he, he's very comfortable in these situations plays a lovely ball at a, a cross goal his link-up play was very good as well and he, and playing on the wing to play up striker is different because you've got your back towards the goal you're playing against Mings and Konsu who are very strong he gets a wonderful strike there and I just thought his whole game, his movement, you, you like his movement there Dion? Yeah, I, I just think he knows, he knows what the defender doesn't want and so he gives it to the defender. Like you say, you go into out, it's difficult to defend. You know, I, you know, I never had pace but when you're defending against pace, Mikey, yeah, you but know. So no, no defender wants to play against pace. Pace and movement, you see his movement there, he was going out to in, in to out, but do, running do you in behind. Do you think he's being coached to slow down a bit? as well, at Leeds, when he needs to towards slow the, down. Towards, towards the, the end. end, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah, it slowed down a, a little bit. I think sometimes when you get in there, you, you want to score, you're almost yeah. celebrating before you, yeah. you know, you, you've shot at times. But I just think in this Leeds sign, he's coming of age. He's got the yeah. trust of his manager yeah. and he's had to because Bamford's been injured. Uh, Jacob Ramsey's 20 in answer to your question. 20 yeah. and finishing yeah. like that? Did you just yeah. Google that, did you? I, 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 googled it whilst <laughs> he, I, I Googled it whilst he was doing his analysis. I was bored of him. I was, yeah, I found out. <laughs> uh, right, next to the leaders, Manchester City, they hosted Brentford, who'd lost their last five in League and Cup, and Steve Wilson saw this one. Raheem Sterling plays his 